This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz Winter Edition of 2020. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller. We're happy that you can join us. We have two great teams leading off tonight's show. We have Elmwood facing Ada, and then a little bit later, you're going to see Crestview take on St. Mary's. Let's introduce you to our players joining us from Ada. We have Hunter Wells, Theo Hardesty, Nathan Hurtig and Isaac Spar. And Ada is coached by Dave Lusk. Welcome back, gentlemen. Okay, turning now to Elmwood. Joining us is Dylan Gein, Thaddeus Hopkins Fawcett, Kyler Heiser, and Carson Palmer. Elmwood is coached by Hope Hopkins Fawcett. All right, welcome to all of you. Okay. Most of you know the drill. We have 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Again, we want to make sure when you buzz in that you're as loud as possible and you're as complete as you can be with your answers, okay? So here we go. Round one, question one of the show. What well-known ice cream brand began in a renovated gas station in Burlington, Vermont? Yes, that would be Elmwood. Toffs. Toffs is incorrect. Ada, do you want to try? Yes. Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's, absolutely. Okay, moving on to number two. Which satiric tale by Jonathan Swift is about a... Yes, that would be Ada. The what? Gulliver's Travels. We are able to accept that. Gulliver's Travels is the correct answer. All right, moving on. Number three. Identify the Italian artist whose creativity is expressed in his drawings and paintings. Mark him as one of the world's greatest minds. Da Vinci. Ada. Da Vinci. Can you expand the name, please? Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is correct. Okay. Question four. Name the beard style that has hair on the man's chin but not on his cheeks. Yes, Ada. Goatee. Goatee is correct. All right, what country is home to Machu Picchu? Yes, Ada. Peru. Peru is correct. All right, moving on. Number six now in this first round. Scurvy is a disease caused by a lack, yes, Ada? Vitamin C. Vitamin C, all right. Number seven. What is the clear layer at the front of the eye? Ada. Cornea? Cornea is correct. All right, moving on. Number eight. Name the bird that is well known for standing on one leg. Yes, Ada? Flamingo. Flamingo is the answer there. Okay, you have two questions remaining in this first round. Name the motto of California that is translated into English as I have found it. Yes, Elmwood. Eureka. Oh. Eureka, you're on the board. All right, <laughs> moving on. Last question, round one. Which president held Vietnam wartime strategy meetings at his Texas ranch? Yes, Ada. Johnson, Lyndon B. Johnson. Lyndon Johnson is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our first round between Ada and Elmwood High Schools. Here's the score. Elmwood, you have 10 points. Ada, 90. We'll be back with uh, rounds two and three after the break. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships. Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, we're moving on now to rounds two and three in this game between Elmwood and Ada High Schools. Our score right now, Elmwood, you have 10 points. 
Ada with 90, that means you guys are going to lead this first round with five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please still ring in with the buzzer. Okay, question one. What caused the Great Depression to end? Oh, that was World War II, right? Yes. World War II. That is the correct answer, World War II. Question number two. Between 1934 and 1942, what did the U.S. government plant, creating a windbreak to protect the soil from wind evaporation and erosion? Yes. Corn? Corn is incorrect. Trees is the answer there. All right, number three. Name the two types of memory. Yes. Long-term and short-term memory. You are correct, Ada. Long-term and short-term memory. In which Virginia town did Lord Cornwallis surrender to George Washington oh, yeah. on October 19th, yeah. 1781? Yes, Ada? Yorktown. Yorktown is correct. And you have one question that's remaining here in your second round. What is the name of the professional soccer team in Columbus, Ohio? Great crew. Yes. Columbus Crew. Columbus Crew is the answer. All right, very good. All right, Elmwood, your turn now with four, uh, five questions worth five points apiece, as everyone said. All right. What type of poem consists of three line stanzas with a five, seven, five syllable count? Yes. Haiku. Haiku is correct. What name is given to the collection of genes that forms human DNA? Yes. Genome. Genome is the answer. Which word beginning with the letter P means a pen name? Yes. Pseudonym. Pseudonym is correct. Very good. All right. Two questions remaining in the second round. Which word names the thigh bone? Yes. Patella. That is incorrect. It's the femur. All right, last question That's in this round. That's your name. Identify the prolific author who wrote The Hunt for Red October. Yes. T.S. Eliot. C.S. Eliot is incorrect. It's Tom Clancy. All right, we've come to the end of rounds one and two. Here's our score. Elmwood with 25 points, Ada 110. We're moving into our third and final round. Everyone get the buzzers ready because the questions are all up for grabs. All right, number one, which state is also known as the bluegrass state? Yes, Ada. Kentucky. Kentucky is correct. The spine is made up of how many bones? Yes, Ada. 43. 43 is incorrect. Elma, do you want to try? Yes. 46. Also incorrect. It's 33. All right. Moving on. Number three. Identify the South Carolina school whose name means a stronghold. Yes, Ada. Citadel High School? Citadel is correct. And we are not going to accept that because it is not a high school, right? Oh. All right. All right, moving on. That's why we have our judge over there. Um, question number four. Name the state of matter that has only one free surface. Elmwood. Liquid. Liquid is correct. Which word completes the proverb? His what is worse than his bite? Ada. Bark. Bark is the answer there. All right, number six in your game. Which book comes last in the New Testament? Yes, Elmwood. Revelation. Revelation is the answer. Question number seven in your final round. What word is used to indicate unknown authorship? Ada. Anonymous. Anonymous is correct. 
Which U.S. amendment was adopted to reassure people that the national government would not swallow up the states? Ada. Ninth. Ninth is incorrect. Elmwood, you want to try it? Tenth. The 10th amendment is what we're looking for there. All right. Two questions remaining in this game. How many cups are there in six pints? Ooh. Ada? 24. 24 is incorrect. Elmwood, you want to try? Yes. 12. 12 is the answer. All right. Last question in this game. What term is used in literature to designate the time and place of a narrative? Elmwood. Setting. Setting oh. is correct. Good job. All right. We've come to the end of our game between Elmwood and Ada High Schools. Here is the final score. Elmwood, 75 points. Ada, you're moving on to the semifinals with 140 points. So congratulations. Elmwood, thank you so much for joining us this season. All right, we'll be back with our next game right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. Right, in case you just joined us, Ada and Elmwood just finished up their game. Ada came out the winner there, so we are moving on to our second game of the night. Crestview is going to take on St. Mary's now, and let's introduce you to our players joining us from Crestview. We have Cameron Kearns, Colby Swagger, Vincent Adam, and Dylan Baraclo. And Crestview is coached by Sandy Grooms. Welcome back, gentlemen. All right, moving over to St. Mary's now. Joining us is Caden Brockman, Alex Motter, Gabe Overly, and Luke Schlomer. St. Mary's is coached by Chad Dahl. Welcome to you, gentlemen. All right, we have 10 questions in this first round. We're 10 points apiece. Everybody ready with those buzzers? Make sure you speak up as loudly as you can and make your answers as complete as possible. Viewers at home are playing along with you and they want to make sure that they got it right too. So here we go. Question number one. Complete the proverb, bad news travels what? Yes, that would be St. Mary's. Fast. Fast is correct. Question two. Who gave the iconic and historic speech, I have a dream? Yes, Crestview. Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. is the answer. All right, number three. Buenos Aires is the capital. Yes, that would be Crestview. Argentina. Argentina is the answer. Which 40-foot high dinosaur, whose name means arm lizard, was, yes, that would be Crestview. Ankylosaur. That is incorrect. St. Mary's, would you like me to complete the question? Yes, yes please. Which 40-foot high dinosaur, whose name means arm lizard, was the biggest dinosaur of all time? Yes. Apatosaurus. That is incorrect. The answer we're looking for is Bronchiosaurus. All right, number five. Identify the system of writing for the blind that uses, yes, St. Mary's. Braille. Braille is the answer. Who became president when William McKinley was assassinated? Yes, St. Mary's. Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt is correct. Moving on now to question number seven in our first round. Which president issued the emancipation? Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln is correct, St. Mary's. Who painted the Last Supper? Yes, Crestview. Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is the answer there. Okay, two questions remaining in this first round. 
Which fictional detective did Sir Arthur Conan okay? That would be Crestview. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is the answer. And the final question in round one. What are the three major parts of the human ear? Yes, St. Mary's. The Incus, Malleus, and Stapes. That is incorrect. Crestview, you want to try? All right, what we're looking for here is the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. All right, moving on now to second round. And we have a tied score, both teams with 40 points. So we tossed a coin before the game started. St. Mary's, you have chosen to lead this round in the event of a tie. And you will have five questions worth five points apiece. Please make sure you buzz in with your answers. Which noble gas has the atomic symbol RN? Yes. Radon. Radon is correct. What word beginning with the letter D is used as the opposite of foreign in discussing political policy? Domestic. Yes. Domestic is correct. Name the continent nearest to Antarctica. South America. South America is correct, St. Mary's. Question number four. Which dinosaur is well known for the diamond-shaped plates that are lined up and down its back? St. Mary's. Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus is the correct answer. And here's your final question in the second round. Which chemical formula identifies dry ice? Yes. Carbon. That is incorrect. The answer that we're looking for is CO2. All right. Crossview, your turn now with five questions. Everybody set over here. Make sure you buzz in. What weapon did David use to defeat Goliath? Yes. A slingshot. A sling is correct. Name the irreversible progressive brain disorder that slowly destroys memory and thinking skills. Yes. Dementia. Dementia is correct. Name this structure on an aircraft's tail used for directing its course. Right, time is up. The answer is rudder. Okay, two questions remaining in this game. What is the singing term for the highest natural adult male voice? Yes. Tenor. Tenor is correct. Okay, we have one question remaining in this second round. Crestview right now with 55 points, St. Mary's with 60. Which spice gives many Indian dishes a yellow color? Yes. Curry. Curry is correct. All right, we have got a game on our hands here. Moving into break now, we have both teams with 60 points. We'll be back with the final 10 questions right after this. Don't go anywhere. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. Right, we have some very bright gentlemen in the studio right now representing St. Mary's and Crestview High Schools. The score is tied, so I'm glad you tuned in. Both teams with 60 points. We are now moving into our third and final round. This is again 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. I do want to mention, and I also want to thank Mark Dickman for joining us again this year as our judge because we have had some questions that we have had to refer to him. So hopefully this will be smooth, right guys? All right, we'll be moving now into question number one of our final round. 
In which city did General Andrew Jackson defeat the British? Yes, Crestview. New Orleans. New Orleans is correct. According to conventional usage, what punctuation mark separates two or more adjectives preceding, yes, that would be St. Mary's? A comma. Comma is correct. What is the basic building block of all organisms? Yes, St. Mary's. The atom. Adam is incorrect. Crestview, do you want to try? Yes. DNA. That is also incorrect. What we're looking for here is cell. All right, question four. The United States is spread across how many time zones? St. Mary's. Six. Six is correct. Name the wireless technology standard for exchanging data between, yes, that would be St. Mary's. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is incorrect. Crestview, would you like me to complete the question? Yes. Name the wireless technology standard for exchanging data between fixed and mobile devices over short distances. Yes. Bluetooth. Bluetooth is what we're looking for there. All right, question number six. Name the fourth planet from the sun. Yes, Crestview. Mars. Mars is the answer. Identify the four-letter word designating the draped outer garment worn by Roman citizens. Yes, St. Mary's. Toga. Toga is correct. Question number eight. In what country is Mount Fuji? Yes, Crestview. Japan. Japan is the answer. We have a tied game. Is that a surprise? Both teams with 90. Oh, no, that is not right. Crestview, you went ahead. You have 100 points. St. Mary's with 90. All right. Two questions remain. Name the mass of specialized protoplasm found in the cells of most organisms. Cytoplasm. That is incorrect. Crestview, would you like me to complete the question? Yes, please. Name the mass of specialized protoplasm found in the cells of most organisms without which the cell cannot, cannot divide. Yes. Nucleus? Nucleus is the answer we're looking for. And our final question of this game. Name the poet who wrote, Once Upon a Midnight Dreary. Yes, St. Mary's. Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe is the correct answer. All right, we've come to the end of our game. And it was a close one right all the way up until the very end. But we do have a winner. St. Mary's, you have 100 points. Crestview, you'll be moving on to semifinals with 100 10 points. So congratulations, team. St. Mary's, as always, well played, and thank you for joining us this year. Congratulations, guys. All right. Thanks for watching at home. We'll see you back here next week. Until then, have a great one, everyone. Bye-bye.